Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 348. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 344 to 348. Hey, uh, this is a little mini version of records for invoices. So we sold a uh, the particular mouse, the price was 120. We sold 20 of them. The total was uh, that amount. Now, this is uh, a database with records for invoices. And on a separate sheet, you could imagine, you could have the stock. This is the running total of inventory units on hand. This is the total. Now, I put these things onto the same sheet just to make the video easy. But is there a formula we could use that would always look at our invoice? And I made it real short. You know, This database could have you know thousands of rows. Is there a formula we could put right here that every time we add a new record, it will calculate the running total? Sure there is. How about this? Equals whatever the total is minus, and we need some way of looking through this whole column, finding all of the mouse ones, then jumping over to this, adding all of those up, and subtracting them with the perfect function, sum if. The range, now there's one, two, three arguments, and I've done lots of videos on sum if, but this range right here holds the criteria. This is the specific criteria. Obviously, for the inventory, it'll be mouse, and then sum range. That's going to be the inventory that we want to subtract. So range, this one right here, all the way down. Imagine if it was 1,000 rows or whatever, and then hit F4. Comma, what's the criteria? Relative cell reference right there. And then comma, the sum range. Now, most people just go ahead and highlight the whole thing. But by default, sum if is programmed to take whatever the number of cells here. That is exactly the sum if determines how many to add up from this argument, not this argument. So all you need is the top one. And I'm going to hit F4 because that's got to be locked. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Sure enough, it got uh, 120 minus 20. This one got uh, 1,200 minus 12 for the total. Now let's go ahead and, and test it. Mouse. I better uh, type it correctly. And then I'm just going to put the quantity. And sure enough, that updates. Let's do one more camera. You uh, obviously want to have data validation here based on that to make sure. And then I'll uh, cell 1. So now it's uh, 1,999. All right, uh, there you have it. Uh, we'll see you next trick.